Committee on Education, Culture, and the Arts. And I am Kagawad Marlene Po. And here I have my niece, who is the SK Chair, Isa, who is a fine arts student at the University of the Philippines. Hello! <laughs> All right, so today we're going to introduce to you our teacher, who is Teacher Renan, please. Would you like to say a few words where you study, where you teach? Good day to everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Anvas Pod Painting Workshop. I hope you enjoy uh, making uh, artworks from the Anvas Pod. Okay, he's going to guide you on how to make the Canvas bag and you can download or watch this video in our uh, YouTube channel, the Committee YouTube channel. So all those who signed up for this workshop are going to have a kit which is composed of one can Canvas bag and it's going to be in this kit and inside the kit you will have paint Lisa, could you please show the paint? Here's the paint. So it will have all the primary colors plus black and white. All right. We will also have a set of three brushes and one pencil. We have three brushes. There's one flat brush and then there's two pointer brushes plus one pencil. All right. So for before you paint your canvas bag, we suggest you put a paper or a little cardboard to put on inside your bag and just so the paint doesn't seep in the bag. You want it to just be in one side and so it's a lot neater and cleaner and so we can see your beautiful artworks. All right, please make sure that um, you place it properly and you the, the size of the cardboard is as big as the size of the bag. Or if you don't have something big, make sure you move the cardboard as you paint your designs. Just make sure the design, the paint doesn't go through the other side. If you are not confident enough to draw freehand, you can make a photocopy of your design and use a carbon paper. And we suggest that you not make very complicated and small drawings. So teacher Renan is going to demonstrate three types of uh, how you can paint from something complicated to something very simple. All right? Are you ready? Ready? All right. <laughs> so please, um, by the way, enjoy your artwork. This is not a contest, especially now during the lockdown art is considered some form of therapy, some form of outlet because of our frustration and our fear of the virus. Uh, this is an opportunity just to let go. Um, Isa and I yeah, um, we started, started a while ago and this is my finished product and she has, Isa has not finished. Oh, this is my oh, finished, finished already. <laughs> But she made it really, really, uh, the rendering is quite uh, meticulous. For me, it's just like, uh, all right, just enjoy it. It's really, really fun. Remember um, guys, art is a freedom of expression. All right, okay. Uh, this one is not the bag. This is just kacha cloth. And this is what we use for the demo. This is just kacha cloth. But the bag you will get is this size. All right? So enjoy! Bye! Hi, good day. I am Teacher Renan. I am your art teacher for the Canvas Bag Painting Workshop, which is a project of the Gawan Art Info. I'd like to show you the steps for the Canvas Bag Painting. Step number one, prepare your Canvas Bag. Place a flat cardboard or plastic film inside so the paint will not seep into the bag. Step number two, place your canvas bag on a flat even surface. 
Step number three, prepare sketch of your design on the canvas pad. You can do it in two ways, hand drawn directly using pencil or use carbon paper transfer a printed design on your canvas pad. The important thing is, before applying paint on your canvas pad, we need to have an outline drawing of our design. Step number four, prepare your painting materials. Ensure that the paint is properly mixed in the containers to have an even consistency. Before opening, shake the container. After opening, use a stick to stir the paint inside. Step number five, ensure that you have a jar or container full of water near you. You will need to soak and rinse your used brushes in this container after you apply color. Remember, water-based paint dries easily and dry paint on your brush can damage their business. Step number six, we begin applying the lighter colors first before the darker colors. Based on your design, Identify the light colors and mix your paints to achieve the hue of these colors. Mix the colors in a small container or on a non-absorbent flat surface like a palette or a paper plate. Step number seven. We begin with the lighter colors because lighter colors are easier to cover up than darker colors as we move along with the painting process. This way, it will be easier to clean your brushes. Step number eight, when applying paint on your design, begin with the edges of the shapes of your design and then work your way inside that shape. This way, colored shapes won't get in the way of the colors of the shapes beside them. Step number nine, once you are finished applying the color to their designated shapes or areas, soak and rinse your brush. Ensure that before using it again to paint a different color, no paint is present in the bristles. Step number 10, proceed to applying the next set of colors until all areas of your design is covered with paint. Step number 11, Ensure that you paint evenly and not too thickly. If the application of paint is too thick, the paint will take a longer amount of time to dry. If the paint is too thin, the white prime painting layer will be seen. Step number 12. Let dry for around 30 minutes or until the paint is dry. Step number 13. You can apply a second layer of color to your design once the first layer is dry. Step number 14. Depending on your design, identify the second layer of colors and mix paint to achieve these colors. Step number 15. After applying the second layer of paint, let dry. Step number 16. Sign your masterpiece using a dark color on the corner of your canvas mat. You can make art using masking tape. The masking tape will act as a resist to the paint similar to a stencil. Step number one, make a square border along the edge of your canvas mat. Step number two, Apply masking tape on the surface of the canvas bag, making a series of connecting lines. These lines of the masking tape will form random shapes. Step number three, apply different colors on the shapes. Take note that you have to press the paint away from the tape and into the shape. Lastly, once the paint is dry, remove the masking tape to reveal your artwork. 